Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. I'm here with Mike McChristian. Mike, thank you for being here. The game at Hawaii, nine rebounds, a career high. You, your game has been developing better and better in these last four or five weeks. Talk about how you've developed your game. Uh, well, I just think that uh, definitely practicing hard um, all the time helps. And just being out on the floor, getting a little bit more comfortable these last, like you said, four to five weeks, um, I think coach has built up a little bit more confidence in me, putting me out there a little bit more. So I just think that... Uh, the more playing time that comes along, uh, the more confidence I've kind of gotten myself and with the team. So I think I just feel a little bit uh, more comfortable out there. Sure. Mike, talk a little bit about your game. What is your game? Obviously a de strong defensive player. Uh, yeah, my game uh, always been uh, defense has been one of my primary focuses. Um, I've always been a pretty good rebounder. Um, I'd like to think of myself as a great, uh, nice offensive player too. But right now, I just try to help the team in whichever way I can. And, you know, that if that's on the defensive end, offensive end, uh, whatever I can do, I just try to go out there and do uh, whatever I can. Mike, talk about what brought you to Idaho. How did you get to Moscow and become a Vandal? Uh, I became a Vandal. They contacted me when I was at my junior college in Yuba City, California. I uh, was looking at a couple options and got a call from Idaho. Uh, kind of did a little bit of homework on the school. Um, Seen the location, it was a little cold for me, being that I'm from California, been there my whole life. But uh, came up here, took a visit, uh, got a chance to play uh, with a few of the players, and I felt uh, that there was some pretty good chemistry there. And uh, I just ended up uh, deciding to come here and uh, been happy with my choice ever since. Sure. Did you have any trouble transi transitioning from the high school game to junior college and then up to Division One here in Moscow? Uh, I wouldn't say trouble, but I mean, Transitioning from each level, you never know what to expect, being that it's something new and you haven't gone through it before. So I just kind of tried to make sure that I worked hard um, at each level in order to develop my game so I could have sort of a smooth transition. Uh, the Division One level is definitely uh, faster than the JC level, but I think that the fact that I did work hard and was able to come uh, and work out with the team over the summer helped me out a great deal. Mike, you said you mentioned that you're obviously here a defensive uh, strength of defensively, but you know in junior college and in high school you are, were an offensively gifted player. Mm -hmm. You know your team relying a lot on your offense. Mm -hmm. Talk about the change going from a system where you were primarily involved in an offensive scheme to coming off the bench and making big stops, big saves, and contributing some points here in Moscow. Uh, it wasn't that hard of a transition because I've always uh, seen myself as a hustle player, a player that goes out there, gets rebounds, does the little things. So, and um, actually, a lot of my points in high school and my junior college came from offensive rebounds and just you know getting steals on the defensive end. So it wasn't necessarily me going out there and shooting uh, 25 shots a game, but more so trying to uh, make sure I get all the hustle plays done and do the little things. Do you follow NCAA basketball uh, as well? Yeah, I'm definitely a big fan right. of college basketball too. Mike, I'm going to ask you, what are your predictions for the Final Four this year? Final Four? I got Syracuse, they've been playing pretty well. Kentucky's been playing pretty well. Um, third one, maybe a toss-up. I'll throw Kansas in there. And then the fourth one, I got to go with the Vandals. <laughs> Excellent. Good answer. Good answer. Mike, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate uh, it. No problem. Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. Ilya Pinchik here with Wendell Thanes. Wendell, thank you so much for being here. Wendell, let's start off with the game in Hawaii. You had a career high five rebounds um, and just probably your overall best game to date in Vandal uniform. Talk about the game itself. It was just a fun experience, man. Just I enjoyed playing with my teammates and enjoyed Hawaii. It was just a fun experience. Wendell, talk a little bit about your game. What, is, what are your strengths on the court? Uh, defensive, defense, <clears throat> blocking shots, rebounding, scoring inside when I get the opportunity to. Just, but there's always room for improvement. Sure. Wendell, it's been kind of an up and down season for you. You started off, you know, look, not a, not that many minutes, up and down. But in the last three, four, five weeks, uh, coach has been playing you a lot better. Talk about how good of a vote of confidence that is for you. Um, it's a lot of confidence. Like, unfortunately, like after like the first part of the season, I didn't. My confidence wasn't exactly high. But um, like, which every game, confidence grows higher and higher. So how how do as a player, how do you grow that confidence? Just by playing a lot of basketball, like playing as much as you can, just getting repetition, rep, rep, reps, mm -hmm. reps, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So what are some of the, some parts of your game that you're trying to improve this season and going on into next season? Quickness, quickness and foot speed. 
Okay, excellent, excellent. Uh, talk a little bit about playing at JC. You're the uh, you had a Player of the Year award in the so in Southern California down there. Mm -hmm. Talk about transferring from the JC level to the Division One level, and if you had any trouble adjusting to the game, the speed or anything. Um, I wouldn't say I had trouble adjusting to the speed. It was more like just the confidence. Like I didn't have the confidence that I could just play at this level. And now like, I kind of re I really realize like everyone's the same. But I don't know. Uh, um, practice is a little bit more harder than junior mm -hmm. college. That's about it. Talk a little bit about playing in Southern California and winning that Player of the Year and just your time in JC. Um, it was cool. I won a state championship when I was out there. You know, I played with my best friend who like grew up, I grew up in the same neighborhood with Tyler McManaman, and like it was just a fun experience. Like Coach Brown and Coach uh, Daryl Brown, he used to play with Houston with Kareem Elijah one. I just had some great mentors and great people. I got the opportunity to be around with like Tyson Chandler. Just, just blessed, man. Just extremely blessed. Wendell, what does it mean for you to be a Vandal personally coming here to University of Idaho? Oh, it was great, man. Like, I mean, wouldn't change it for the world. I, I signed preseason for a reason. I just love it out here. What brought you out here? What Was there any one aspect that made you realize that Moscow is a place for you? Um, just uh, Coach Verlin and Coach Murph, man. They're just really consistent. Like, when I when I signed out of uh, high school, like I signed the University of Drake, and uh, they kind of left me for dead. Like, when, they, when my coach left for Providence until, like, later when they offered me again. But, um... Like, uh, I just, there just seemed like a loyal, family-oriented program and coaches, so. Sure. Wendell, what do you like to do in your time off when, you, when you're not practicing and going to class? What's a good way to relax for you? It's basketball, man. That's all I do in my neighborhood is just play basketball. Mm -hmm. Like, that's all I've ever done. Just, just hoop. Me and Mike, Mansa, mm -hmm. Jeremy, everybody. Excellent. Uh, Wendell, thank you so much for being here. We'll yeah. be back for more on Inside the Vandals.